Hello YouTube, it's me Dark Owen, and in today's video I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make stop motion animation videos. So if you already know how to do stop motion, I wouldn't recommend watching this as it probably won't help you much. This tutorial is mostly aimed at beginners and people who don't really know much about stop motion. So what stop motion is, is pretty much a collection of pictures and when you play them together, uh, it looks like inanimate objects are moving. So um, if you guys haven't seen any of it before, uh, there's a bunch of examples on my channel, and also lots of different movies have used this technique before, so if you want to look that up, you can. But so, um, let's say you want to make this car move across the screen using stop motion animation. So, today I'm going to be using an iPad mini. You could use any mobile device or a camera, but this is a lot simpler. So, um, you're going to want to install this app called Stop Motion Studio. I'm using Stop Motion Studio Pro, but there's a lot of different apps you can use. This is just the best one in my opinion. So, first of all, set up the frames per second. This determines how fast the video will be played back, and higher frames per second are uh, more smooth. I like 15 frames per second personally, but um, you can go down to 10 or 5 if you're just starting out, or 24 or 30 if you're really advanced. But I usually use 15 frames per second. So, once the car, or whatever you, you're using, you can use essentially anything, is in the shot, take one picture, just move it the slightest bit, and take another picture again. Also, this thing right here, it's called onion skinning. What it means is that if you move it down a little bit, you can see right there what the last frame looked like, so you can match up the current frame with the last one to kind of remove any inconsistencies. So just do this for as long as you want. I'm just going to do it until this car um, exits the shot. A tip that I have for you guys is make sure that every frame sort of overlaps the one before it. So as you can see, that 6 right there is overlapping the 6 from the frame before so that it's not taking too big of um, movements per frame, and also so that it, the animation doesn't look choppy. Okay, so I finished the animation. It's uh, 74 frames long, along with uh, 4 seconds long. Here's the finished product. So yeah, it's pretty short and it's not the best, but with enough practice, you'll be able to make some pretty good animation videos. So if you guys want to see more uh, tutorials like this about stop motion, please be sure to comment it down below, uh, and I'll be sure to make them. So yeah, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and goodbye.